Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. We are hooked up. Uh, we're gonna show you today what we can do on a Texa with a Dodge Ram. So this is a 2016 Dodge Ram with a uh, Cummins turbo in it. So as I open the door here, you will see we have our TXT box hooked up to it. And we're just plugged right into the OBD2 port here. So this is a pretty cool looking Dodge. Um, we got the dually setup going on. This is a big boy here. So we got our Texas setup back here. We're all Bluetooth. And I've already taken the liberty of doing the complete scan on the vehicle. So now I'm gonna go to diesel injection and I'm gonna go click on my ECU here. We're gonna hook up to it so you can see what it does. So Texa has just come out with this on the new version 41 with the 2013 and newer Dodge coverage. So we wanted to see how good it is. We've already been playing with it for a while and it's, it's pretty dang strong. So if I go over here to the parameter tab, um, you'll notice, I'll scroll down here a little bit to get some actual data coming across. Um, you'll notice on here in the upper left corner, it says there's 251 different parameters that can be possibly read with this vehicle. So it's displaying the entire list. You scroll down here enough, they'll start populating. So there you go, they're starting to, starting to populate in the list. All right. So there you go, you can see the temperatures coming across and everything. So let's next talk about the fault code. This particular one, we have one inactive code. And if we double click it, it gives us our actual P code number. I'll hit the confirm button. The ECU info tab is just generic information, VIN number, software levels, usually nothing too exciting. Activations and commands, that's what everybody wants to see. Cylinder cutoff test, that's a big one that people always ask for. And there's the entire list of commands that you can run with this thing. And then we go over here to settings. And the big one that people always ask for is the particulate filter regeneration. So yep, it's in here. Um, very good coverage. We'll show you the ABS system as well. Sometimes people ask about that. But it does have them all covered. So even transmission. Um, I saw some cab stuff in here as well. And since we pop back out at the screen, we'll see it. So back at the screen here, airbag, radio system, driver side door, they're all covered. We're not gonna go through them all here. We'll be sitting here for 30 minutes. Oops, hit the wrong button there. Then go back to ABS. And then back to the ECU. So what you'll find about Texa is once it initializes that adapter on these Dodge with the Cummins, it connects very, very fast. So hit the confirm button. Now let's just see what we can do here. Boom, we're already in there. I go over to my parameter tab. You'll notice it's reading 25 different parameters and activate uh, statuses off the ABS. Activations, we have all of our commands that we would need to run on this ABS system to properly diagnose it. So we go through the list, everything's there. And then on the settings tab, you'll notice we have everything there as well. So uh, very powerful tool, great to see in version 41. Texa tool just keeps getting better and better with every iteration that comes out. Uh, they're really separating themselves from the competition. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.